What's the furthest distance you've ever run at one time? On land, I've done a mile without stopping on the treadmill. I've done like, I think a mile, almost two miles without stopping. I don't believe there's been a 400 pound man in the NFL. Got a lot of fat. I've been working this whole time to try to get under 400 pounds. Something's not letting me do it. Laquan literally is like a little brother, if you can call him little in any respect. It's like bacon, like bacon, 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 bacon. I first met Samantha. Um, she was my, actually my tutor when I first, you know, got to Baylor. Like the grandfather of the carrot, just white. <laughs> She's gonna work twice as hard as any other agent to get me where I need to be. So this is probably the best cilantro I've ever seen really? sitting out here. If we can get him down to 375, that's going to look a lot better. Saving money and eating healthy, that's the way we do it. He's really working himself into that sweet spot in his weight and in his size at the level that he needs to to be successful in the NFL. NFL teams don't think I'm, I'm ready for that next level, but they're wrong. Like most players his size, Laquan McGowan was always a lineman. But he possesses quick feet and unique agility. And a single trick play in the 2015 Cotton Bowl changed the trajectory of his life. The infamous 18-yard touchdown that shook the whole world and people really started hearing about him and becoming intrigued about his size. All of that momentum has been snowballing. My size gives me an advantage in the NFL because you don't have guys that weigh this much but yet move the way that I do. At 400 pounds, Laquan would be the largest tight end in NFL history. It will not be easy to convince an NFL team to take a chance on a player as uncommon as Laquan. People are sitting looking at that first number on my weight and they're just like, you know, I don't, he might not be able to go four quarters. He might not be able to to help us. They don't understand the athleticism that's behind 400 pounds. Having earned his degree, Laquan no longer has the support of a scholarship. And he simply lacks the resources of higher profile players. Laquan's daily life is a financial struggle. Reaching the NFL will require new discipline and learning to trust others. Uh, I'm gonna make salmon chicken and broccoli this is lunch definitely people don't really realize what the financial strain of living as an athlete is especially someone Laquan's size put a little cilantro in there it's very hard for him to eat a meal that the average cost of the meal is, you know, less than $25 because of how much food he eats, especially if he's eating healthily. He works his part-time job and he makes the money that he needs to, like, pay his rent. Yeah, I make sure that guys are going to class and stuff, and make sure that, you know, guys are showing up for workouts, doing stuff they need to do, make sure they're going to, to tutoring. You gotta be accountable. Yeah, I think it really bothers him to lean on someone who's not himself, but he knows that he can count on me to provide whatever else it is that he needs. You know, if I can lose, you know, six pounds each week, to me, that's, that's a victory. So 